Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to add a custom domain name to your GitHub Pages website. This is my GitHub Pages website and as you can see it has the URL that is given to me by GitHub and this is what it's going to look like once I add the custom domain name that I purchased from GoDaddy.com. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is go over to the GitHub repository that you want to add the custom domain name to. I'm going to be using this one as an example, my website. So once you're here, you're going to want to click settings and then pages. And of course, this is the current URL to my application, which we're going to be changing to the custom domain name. All right, let's go over to the section that says custom domain. And in here, you're going to type in the domain name that you purchased from godaddy.com it's codefox.com for me you're going to click save and as soon as you do that this is going to try to link github pages to the dns over at godaddy.com but this is not going to be successful because we have not properly configured the dns over at godaddy so let's go ahead and do that all right and if you have not purchased a domain name that's very simple to do just type in the domain name that you're looking to purchase in here and see if it's available. So this one is not available. It says domain taken, but there is a list of other domains that are very similar to that. For instance, this one, codefox.pro. So if I wanted to purchase this one, I could just click on the add to cart button and I could go ahead and go through the process of purchasing this domain. All right, so once you do that, I want you to log out and go back to the home page so you can continue to follow along. All right, we're going to click on the sign in button here, and sign in, and go ahead and sign in. And once you're logged in, you're going to click on your username and my products. Go ahead and scroll down the page. Look for the domain name that you're trying to connect. For me, it's codefox.com. So I'm going to click on these three little dots and manage DNS. And that's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. Yours might look a little bit different than mine. It's not a big deal. We're not going to be touching any of this stuff. What we do want to do is click on the add button. And for type, we're going to select the A for name, the at symbol. And for value, we actually have to go to the GitHub documentation. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this website you can, so you can find it quickly. And once you're here, I want you to head over to the section that says configuring an apex domain and if you look on step number five it says create a records point your apex domain to the ip addresses for github pages so we're going to copy this first ip address and we're going to paste it in here we're going to leave this as is let's click add a record and let's add another record so another a record here and this one as well so we're going to create one of these for each one of these IP addresses. All right, and we're going to add one more thing. This one is going to be a C name. And then for this one, we're going to type in www. And the value is going to be your GitHub handle. So for me, it's going to be I am Code Fox. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to remove this and github.io. So your GitHub handle dot GitHub dot io. And for TTL, we're going to select one hour let's click add record and that should do it for what we have to configure here at GoDaddy All right, and let's go back to github click the refresh button and as soon as we do that this is going to try to link back to the DNS over at GoDaddy but as you can see it's giving me this error your error might look a little bit different you might see a red message but it's the same thing it's still not properly configured well it actually is properly configured but it takes some time for 
GitHub pages to recognize the changes that we did over at GoDaddy. So we have to wait a couple of minutes. Once this is ready, we're going to see a green check mark here. And to check if it's ready, you can either click this button here, check again, or you can click on the refresh button. All right, and there we go. It already created the green check mark. That means that our website is ready and it's going to have this domain when we navigate to it. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful. And if this does not work for you, go ahead and feel free to hit the thumbs down and leave me a comment tell, telling me what the problem was. Maybe I can help you out. And that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.